Hello everybody, I'm back with another video for you today, and I wanted to play some monsters. I've played a bit of Koshchi Relics, all of the new cards with the expansion, uh, but once again guys, I'm kind of focusing on grinding and climbing the ladder. So I have what I think is kind of going to be the best, or one of the best versions of monsters, and that is just simply Keltalis of old with the new Witch, witch Apprentices, the Piggies as I like to call them, uh, this card actually very very good in this deck um you've got to be a bit careful how you're playing out the different rounds because it can be a bit difficult to trigger the sabbath effect sometimes and get those 25 points on your row but at the same time keltilis has a ton of points so you can quite often go egern beast nithral what, whatever right chuck it all on one row and then get the witch apprentice down and this card really is perfect for a keltilis deck because keltilis loves to play engines it loves to overwhelm the opponent with a bunch of engines that they can't deal with. They can't kill all of your guys. If they kill a, a Witch Apprentice, maybe they aren't killing a Nithral or a, a, or a Phantom or a Beast or whatever, right? So this card is really nice in Keltilus, I think. In the video, uh, in the gameplay, I am actually running Forktail instead of one Natural Selection, one Spores. I think probably the extra control you get from Natural Selection is a little bit better, so I've changed that here for you guys. Um, but yeah. It's just a good deck. I was having a lot of a lot of good times against Northern Realms, which is quite popular, uh, against other monster Koshchi players. It's probably a bit vulnerable to Nilfgaard. I would say that's going to be the worst matchup by far. Nilfgaard looks very strong this patch, so that's not taking too much away from this deck, I think. Um, but yeah, Keltulus is very strong. The Witch Apprentices are a highlight. I do love the card. It's a very powerful four provision card. Um, and yeah. Hope you guys enjoyed the gameplay, subscribe as always, and I'll see you next time. What else is there to do, right? I so I read a bit of Metro 30, 2033, and I was just thinking to myself, this book... Oh, Pip Pippikins, thank you for the sub. Very much, appreciate it. Makes me feel a bit better about losing to Colamone when you guys subscribe. Give me money. Here we have pincer maneuver. Oh boy. But yeah, what was I saying? Let me think. Let me think. Just let me think. Just let me think, guys. Just let me think. I uh uh Yes, an aeromancy. Yeah, in the book it's kind of just a l oh oh Zen Zengma, thanks for the sub, man. Nice one. But yeah, in the book, there's a lot of uh, there's a lot of the same nonsense happening over and over again. I, I don't want to spoil the book for those of you that, that haven't read it and will, of course, read it in the future. But to me, it just felt like it's the same... Okay, the guy meets a guy, and then he makes friends with the guy, and then the guy dies, and then he makes a new friend, and then he goes to a new place, and the guy dies, and then he gets captured and then someone saves him and then he makes a new friend and then the friend dies and then he gets captured again <laughs> like that <laughs> seems like the whole book is just that so i don't know mate a little bit weird but i've enjoyed i've been enjoying reading it's, it's nice it kind of clears the brain a little bit i think in this in this day and age we're kind of uh, always stimulated right well i think it's time I was reading Metro 2033. I mean, don't get me wrong, some of it's quite quite entertaining, quite quite fun. But yeah, I did find a lot of it was just... Oh, we've been here before, haven't we? Not a lot of originality. Originality? Creativity? In what's going on? But yeah. If it works, it works. Don't, don't think about it too hard. Dandelion! Maybe we should heatwave Dandelion. He's kind of a scary fella. I wish I had my Parasite. I do. I wish I had it. But sometimes you don't get what you wish for in life. I'll heatwave it. I want to allow them that carryover juice. Have I any kind of philosophical affiliations? <laughs> Not really, Nit. I see Pippikins. I'm not I don't think I'll read a second metric book to be honest, man. I can't imagine that being particularly fun. Check it out. 
check out some Asimov, familiar tropes, but he was the first. I see. I need to start. My dad was recommending a lot of a lot of books, and I should really I should really pick some of those up. I think because uh, I think he has good taste. He was recommending. I can't. I can't even remember the name, but there's a lot of good sci-fi stuff apparently that he was was recommending. <laughs> Philosophically affiliated to the doctrine of Nilfgaard, yeah. Of course, mate. Definitely not reading, worth reading a second. Fair. I've read 1984 many, well, maybe not many times, but probably more than once. A while ago. Is this going to become an actual book enjoyer stream? And we can play some Northern Realms mages and just all be reading? Maybe I should read while playing Northern Realms. That would be the true roleplay. Maybe I should do that, guys. That'd be that'd be kind of fun. Do some reading. Be patient. I haven't read Lord of the Rings, no. I haven't read a huge amount of books to be like, Jesus. The storm is really coming out today, holy heck. Can you hear it? I'm kind of scared. I'm kind of spooked. The beast. We played the beast. My my witch apprentices are not doing much right now. Because I've been reacting to them, you know? I've been reacting to the opponent. I haven't been... I haven't been getting my own points on the board here. Asimov's very, very cool. There's also a bit of philosophy and self-reflection. I like the philosophy. You don't like the Hobbit and stuff? I, I think I was reading The Hobbit with my dad when I was younger. Has yet to speak its last. Yeah, 1984 is a cool book, for sure. For sure. For sure, for sure. Oh my goodness, why do they have so many points? What is going on here? I'm gonna play Squirrel. I'm not winning on even, feels a bit weird. Rip Vale, yeah, yeah, indeed. But yeah, if you guys have any other... I'm trying to remember what my dad was recommending, because I'm sure... I'm sure some of you will probably have heard of it. Uh, if I were to say what, what it is. Oh! We're drawing some cards, we're missing some cards, we're drawing some cards. Could kind of be worse, but it could also it could also be better. So I think I'll actually shuffle that. Feels a bit weird. I think I'll actually shuffle it. That may be too greedy. That may be too greedy here. No, not do. But there's a very particular particular author that does good sci-fi apparently. But I, I don't. Didn't Arcadius? Game of Thrones books. Hmm. Interesting. I think I'm gonna pass now. Mate, are the witches even doing anything here? Philip K. Dick. I don't think so. Frank Herbert, no. It's annoying because if I heard the name, I'd be like, "Yeah, yeah, that guy, obviously, yeah." But I'm not hearing the name right now. Karl Marx. Is this for YouTube? This deck? I don't know. We'll see. We'll see how good it is. If it's outrageously bad, then probably not. 
Guy is sieging me. We're being sieged. We are under siege right now. We are under a great siege. I'm not sure if I'm surviving. I probably have to play Kelly. I wanted to play Eager. Maybe I should have kept the hand. I don't know. Huxley! No. <laughs> that is a familiar name because he did Brave New World or something. You won't read sci fi. Ah, Ketchling, I see. I see. I see you're a man of taste. Science fiction. It's, it's too fictional for me. It's a little bit too fictional. Hands are gone. <laughs> yeah. I, when I was reading last night, I was thinking, wow, it's quite, quite cool, actually, that someone can write stuff down on a page, and then my brain is, like, kind of creating and visualizing a scene from it. Like, it was quite, quite, I was finding that to be quite incredible, actually. Oh, Jesus Christ. I don't think my pig is going to do a whole lot in this particular round, guys. Worryingly. It's a bit stressing me out. Is it just Kelly time? It has to be, right? We have to just start making a dent on this on this massive board that they have. Hopefully it'll be enough. Bang. Bang. We now have the veiled cave troll, guys. And this is where the siege ends. <laughs> The siege has been lifted. The monster, the big dragon comes, and the siege has been lifted. The dragon is burning all of the siege weapons. Ah! Christ. Your last opponents played two same golds in some deck. I don't know, mate. It sounds like you're playing against some hackers. Some hacking guys. Oh, we've got the we've got a leader charge committed here, guys. There are no, I repeat, there are no more leader charges. Dragon snipe the queen before going for the siege weapons. Oh, no, this is terrible. This is terrible, guys. This is terrible. They've just killed it. I'm gonna have to play a leader charge. Ah. Am I? If they have Margarita, do we even care? Just play Osrel and chill? Man, this guy's fucked. Kelly is coming in hot! Kelly is burning everything up! It's gonna be Margarita, right? It's gotta be. Yeah. <laughs> Good one, dude. Wait. Wait a minute. This is not fine for us. Because the fucking Witch Apprentice is terribly bad. It's fine, we just have to play Oswald. Maybe Witch Apprentice was a mega bait the whole time, guys. At least the opponent has no, no cards left and we're a card up. That doesn't sound too bad. Oh, that was close. I forgot the trebuchet. <laughs> oh, <laughs> that could have been scary. That could have been very scary. I, I've got to say, guys, I'm not a huge fan of fantasy. Fantasy is a little bit, it's a little bit too fantasy, fantastic for me, personally. I'm not a huge fan. Oh, I'm not a huge fan of this hand either, this is a bit of wonky. Bit of a wonker. Really, Kedgling, really. Dissertation. Is this a Draug round three? No way. No flipping way. I guess we should play around it being a Draug round three by by hitting this. Piggy is bad here, but still better than the Wild Hunt Hound. <laughs> I mean, debatable. I do like Piggy. I do like the Piggy. 
But maybe in this deck it's just difficult to get value from it. I don't know. <gasps> the War Elephant is the finisher here. The War Elephant comes onto the board. And we have the perfect answer for the War Elephant. Bah! Imlarith smashes the War Elephant. Imlarith destroys an elephant man. It's a huge elephant and he gets just smashed. Oh, uh oh. Great grandfather's great grandfather. He's an old man, is what he's trying to say. Doesn't look very old. You can usually use piggies around one when you want to push. I would hope so. What a deck. We, we got the NR player, we smashed him up a bit. Okay, Keltilis is maybe good, I don't know. I think it's a healthy thing for the mind. And I, I was, before the tournament happened, I was thinking to myself, after the tournament I would quite like to read some more books and just chill out a bit in life. Go to the beach, stream some Gwent, just have a great time really. Why am I running Forktails still? This card's power crept cap. Alright. We don't have the dash. So we have to choose between dash and egon. Maybe we just won't play dash round one, I don't know. Doesn't make me feel too happy inside. If I don't play the dash. So... Maybe I'll play the dash, I guess. Uh, the dash is cool. How is this different than before the tourney? Well, there's no difference, right? You find forcing yourself to read uh, Geralt Professional. Oh. oh man. Hey casual Treyhard. I guess we lose guys. <laughs> the opponent is running good cards that destroy my deck and smash me up a bit. Unfortunately. And I don't have any bronzes. No bronze engines for this round one. Uh, not really Goblin Boy. I don't, I don't know if anyone would read that. <laughs> would I read that? Probably not. So would other people read that? Probably also not. I'm gonna boost this guy. No, I have a rush ready. A rush is probably the card you're missing. Adrenaline rush. The carrot was rude. Yeah, man. I'm in some large amount of trouble now, I think. I'm gonna have to drop a beast. Dro having to overcommit now a bit to the round one. You can pay a ghostwriter 500 quid for the book. Really? The beast is no longer the beast. He is dead. Not good enough, not good enough, not good enough. We need more golds. This is just doomed, man. We should not be winning this after the Geralt Pro on turn one. Like Terrible stuff. You would read Freddy Babe's bi bibliography? Biography? Bibliography. <laughs> Christ. Good to know. Good to know we've got one, one reader in the chat. I feel like if I were to write that, it would imply that the journey is already over on some level, right? I would not like that to be the case. What's happening here? Am I just dropping a Kelly? I'm probably dropping a Wrath. Wrath is, is fine to play here. We might be okay. Oh yeah, we're definitely Wrathing that. That's, that's ideal Wrath target. Imlarith is just smashing everyone up. He's not even in my deck. He just kind of turns up and then just ah, smashes someone. Leaves. Tips on how to play Syndicate. 
Oh man, Syndicate's just... Whoa. Whoa, what's going on here? Why the leader charge? Hombre? Hombre? Is that a word? I don't know what's going on, but I'm gonna play Kelly. I'm gonna play a Kelly so I can... Ah! Oh, Kelly did nothing. Kelly did nothing here, guys. Oops. 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 And then it got moved. Kelly did nothing and then it got moved. But at least we're getting out of here. At least I escaped the round. Oh! I don't escape the round. I lied. At least we got leader charges from them. Yeah. Is Kelly top tier? I don't know, man. It's peanut butter Kelly time. I suppose. I'm getting a bit mashed up here by this... Uh, Precision strike guy. I will say that. Kinda has quite a lot of removal. The cave troll. I think I'll mulligan Osrel. Not sure that's correct. Doesn't sound correct. I'm just gonna be a great player and draw it in round three. No problem. And mulliganing the witch pig is going to be real bad if he actually passes on me here. Oh, Dreddy, you sweet summer child. But, uh... What am I saying? I was trying to help Dreddy with his, uh, with his dilemma, right? Um, let's just defend her then. This guy wants to push the round? I don't really know what's happening here. I will be honest. So how do you play Syndicate? That's the question. How, do, how does one play Syndicate? You have to sort of imagine that you're a criminal, I think, is the first step. Imagine you're a criminal. What would a criminal do? That's the first... that's the key. You would want to steal a lot of money, right? You want to steal a lot of money, steal some goods from people, steal their items and such. And then, not just steal their items and such, you then actually sell their items on the black market. So, so you want to profit, and you want to then increase your quality of life, right? So then you, you spend the money with the spenders. That's, that's my suggestion. Ooh, it's getting a little bit spooky. I think I'm gonna have to. Oh man, imagine they have they have an answer for Egon though. That'd be rough. They're spending kind of all their juice, so I have a feeling we're okay. But I really don't know. I have a leader for nine points, and they do not have a leader right now, so. Just have to draw something good in round three. Like maybe an Osrel. Osrel would be great. I don't have much else. It's kind of just Osrel. Maybe I shouldn't have mulliganed him. I don't know. But even the Wild Hunt Hounds are, f are kind of okay. Oh! Yes! 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 Yeah! Getting Geralt professional and still winning the game. Yeah, Syndicate is hard. You need to you need to manage your coins very carefully. You want to get to nine coins. Get the boat out of your deck. Carry over the coins. Make sure you manage the carryover value. Make sure you manage your spenders so you don't. It's it's easier with Pirates Cove. You just don't have spenders really until round three. Or you maybe play one leader charge in round two, something like that. To spend coins. You want to spend with the Sea Jackal when you're at high amount of coins. You want to spend a couple of times and then wait. And then profit more and then spend when you're at the, the height of your, your powers. When you have the most coins. You get me? These pigs seem pretty bad. Yeah, I'm with you. But... But, it could just be because we're facing opponents that deal with them. It could be. Oh, 
Uh, do they actually have rebukes here, guys? I think they don't have rebukes. So I'm gonna chill. But yeah, what was I saying? Maybe the pigs are only seeming like they're bad because uh, because the opponent's like damaging my board and stuff, right? Maybe the pigs are going to carry later when people are not doing so much interacting with my board. I don't know. I don't know. I saw I saw the pig pop off against me in one game, so I don't know. I'm convinced the pig could be good. Hey, Rumbling. Skag's finisher. Damn. That was a weird game. I don't know how how we're winning this. <laughs> this feels like we should not be winning this game, but. We take what we can get. Ooh, monster mirror. Ooh, monsters. Ooh, V? No, urn of shadows. Ooh. Very nice that they're giving away what kind of a deck they're playing. I like that. It's not a V deck, guys, I think. I do not see why you would have that stratagem if you're a V player. I don't see it. Double pig. Is there a new journey? I don't think so, not yet. Not just yet. Let's keep the buffs. I guess the buffs with piggies are quite good, right? I'm not expecting to win this round. I'll just play a hound. Ah, a hound is not even... I'll just play a hound, it's fine. If it gets yoinked or whatever, I don't really not bothered. If we can make this hound pop off, then potentially we can go pig. But I think we're just gonna give up round one a lot of the time here. With this hand. Next journey is in 50 days. Oh my. It's quite far away, isn't it? Okay. So maybe just the beast? I think we can pressure here with our with our good friends, the beast and the wild and hound. Because we get a piggy going off in a second, right? <gasps> they get a piggy going off. They get a piggy going off, guys. But I also get a piggy going off, so. This is where the pigs start to feel good, for sure. It's been doing good, you got a business, a GF, very nice, very cool. I'm I'm also good, I'm, I'm having a lot of fun, I'm playing Gwent all day. Played a tournament, playing some piggies on my board, it's a good time. This is a weird deck for sure. Succubus Relics, okay. I can see it, but I think we're now beginning to abuse the opponent. I think I'll heatwave this. And we are now really beginning to abuse the opponent in a, in a very mean and horrible way. Should I actually get... Oh, oh no. Oh god no. Oh, crikey, that's not good. That's a lot of... Ah, they're actually only going to carry over the... I, I'm probably just killing this anyway, right? Like, fuck that shit. Miss me with that nonsense. I don't want them carrying over 11 points. Seems a little bit unfair. Doesn't seem like we get a much better wrath on, on that, on something. So I'll just take it. It's like a carryover wrath, which is quite insane. Random Yerden incoming. My piggies! My piggies are doing so well, I'm so proud of them, man. It's been a while since I've uh, I've seen these pigs pop off. But holy moly. I think the opponent probably should pass now. 
That's my take. If they don't pass, I'm, I'm definitely passing. I'm going to make their life a bit difficult. Yeah. Should be looking okay. Oh, thanks, Nudge. What? They're not passing? Is this guy mad? I'm out of here, mate. Good luck. Good luck making seven points per turn. Plus Keltulus on the board, by the way. <laughs> uh, this poor guy is gonna lose a card down. <laughs> oh no. Yeah, the new patch is good, bug stalling should. I would recommend giving it a go. The crone, okay. Okay, that's not enough points though. That's not quite enough points though. <laughs> oh, the pigs that were way too much. I played a 16 for 4 and a 14 for 4. Oh dear. Oh, dearie me. Dearie, dearie me. Give me my MMR back. Yeah. Yeah. That's what I was imagining, guys, when I put Pig in my deck. That's exactly what I was imagining. It's finally, finally coming together. Where are the Pig Doubters now? Yeah, exactly. Oh, another matchup for Pig value. Yes. That was you. Oh, unlucky Tommy. <laughs> that is unfortunate, mate. You've been had by the Pigs. The Pigs have got you. They've really got gotcha. ya. Uh, I'm a bit unsure what we're doing with this hand. I guess we can Siri Dash Abuse. We can probably Siri Dash Abuse. They shouldn't really have removal rights. Yeah, let's 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 Siri Dash Abuse him. This could be a bit wobbly because if the opponent has um a heat wave or something later, then that could be a problem. Could be a problem. Or if they have a purify this round, that could also be a problem. Actually running control in their deck. Thankfully we have... Uh, I'm gonna play around Parasite, I suppose. Because we have a Purify, so the only other thing that fucks us over really hard is Heatwave. But whatever. Only costs us a leader charge, and then the Heatwave's gone, we don't have to worry about it anymore. Oh! Not again! Oh my goodness, what's going on here? What is going on here, guys? What in the world? She Who Carry Overs is here. Well, I think we're winning this round. <laughs> I think we're winning this one. Not sure what we should do about this this she who knows. I think I'll just doom my cave troll. The cave troll has been doomed. She who loses on even, yeah. <laughs> Keltul is popping out here. Ah, not sure it's great news. The problem is, right, they probably have their own Osrael. Maybe not. But they very could they could have their own Osrael. Their leader is more points than ours. Their finisher is more points than ours. They need to pass here, by the way. They really need to pass here. Imnerus Wrath. I didn't want to take the Wrath until I've uh, got the big 13 point Not card. Right? <laughs> but I will Wrath next for sure. Yeah. We'll see if they boost her. It would actually be good for them to boost her, but of course they're going to play around Heatwave, right? So. Piggy is insane. Yeah, it is. It is. Piggy is a juiced card. So, we're winning on even. Actually, no, guys, we're not winning on even. We're winning a card up. <laughs> oh, the magical win a card up. He has heatwave. He had heatwave the whole time, dude. 
What a freaking crazy guy. He actually had a heat wave. I can't believe it. But I can't feel that bad about it because we're freaking destroying this lava with Kelly and we're, we're still winning on even. We're not winning a card up. We're not winning a card up. But winning on even is, is not bad either. Okay. However, I've lost my Keltalus. Bugs Delang, thanks for the sub, mate. The one true king, wow. Thank you, man. Thank you, man. Okay, do you reckon they'll have Cave Troll? It's entirely possible. I'm gonna get rid of Squirrel, even though they maybe will have... will have stuff here. I think we're just gonna play the round out. I think we're just gonna play it out. What do you guys reckon? I think we're just gonna play the round up. That's my impression. I have a lot of engines here. I could do the engines in round three, but I think their engines are actually gonna outpoint me. But uh, playing just a Nithral here seems very abusive. Very abusive. It's gonna cost me a lot of, a lot of stuff. I'm a bit scared because, as I said, their finisher might actually be uh, be stronger. And this is an interesting play. What do you reckon they have as the follow-up? I could take A-Rush here. A-Rush seems okay, but then we're not playing Egurn, but maybe that's fine. Maybe Egurn will be really good next round anyway. Do you think they even have two damage? Oh, they have crones. They probably have crones. I could also just parasite it. Parasite's a bit less of a commitment, but then we have less control for like... For certain things. So I think... Oh, it feels wrong to use the Nero here. I think we just parasite, to be honest, guys. Bit of a hard decision, though. And they cut cro crones for Parasite and Strigger. Really? Interesting. Well, there's crone number one hitting the board. Hitting the board. I'll play my Phantom. Just get the engines rolling, then the beast, of course, coming down. And then maybe a piggy. And we have a lot of points. And we can also make their pig a bit awkward if they have picks. Because we're damaging two every turn. I guess they have crones after all, right? Yeah. You were lied to, mate. Ooh. I don't have dominance anymore. Well played from the opponent. Well played, opponent. She ate her sister. <laughs> These crones are some degenerates, I gotta say, guys. Six damage, Cronus. Seriously, man. That's insane. I'll play Egon then. It has to happen. Has to happen. I'm a bit scared, man, but we've got a lot of engine value here, particularly if the pig can get online. If we can get the pig online, it would be really wonderful. Strongest deck, in my opinion, thus far. Ooh. Tough question there, mate. Actually quite a tough question. I think the best deck I've played has been Nilfgaard, actually. Nilfgaard, Bull, very, very powerful. The lock comes in, but guess what, guys? I have the Purify for the pig. The pig has a Purify ready. Beautiful stuff. I don't know if we're 2 0 I don't think we're 2 0 but we should get the leader from them at least. We should at least get the leader, right? There's the leader. So we could pass here, take the card, or we could say, I think I have the win. And how many points? What do you think their last card is? I think their last card could be 9, very easily. It could be... 
a ghoul or something for 10. Could be Ozrael for 11. I think we win every time if we push the last card here. The only way we don't, the Icy, is if they have... I just think we 2 owe them, to be honest. Oh, let's get rid of that. Nope, no squirrel, please. I think we're always winning here. The only way we would not be winning is if there's damage on Egan, but even then we're winning, so... Do I use a leader charge? Sure, why not, right? Ah! Ah! 2-0! Garanthia! <laughs> Very nice. Very good stuff. The pigs are doing very well now. I'm loving the pigs. Our beast died, but then we had 